Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky met Tuesday with newly appointed ambassadors to Kiev from Greece, Albania, Japan, and Egypt. The ambassadors officially handed over their credentials to Zelensky and then held separate talks with him. The appointments come one day before the U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is expected to hold urgent meetings on Ukraine with NATO and European Union officials following last week's presidential election and the return of Donald Trump to the White House in January. The State Department will hold talks in Brussels on Wednesday on how to boost support for Ukraine as President-elect Trump has suggested U.S. military assistance to the country fighting off Russia's invasion could be severely curtailed after he takes office. Ambassador, my congratulations. Thank you, thank you very much. Our uh, congratulations for your mm. beginning of his ready, and we are waiting for um, the pleasure for us. Japan has a very important role mm -hmm. in this case. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said on Monday the country's troops were holding back Russian attempts to regain territory in the Kursk region which Kiev's forces claimed in a surprise cross-border operation in the summer. Zelensky said Moscow had sent some 50,000 soldiers to try to take back full control of the border region. Ukraine seized parts of Kursk in August as it sought to divert Russian resources from the front line and gain bargaining power. Western and Ukrainian officials have previously said Russia is being helped by thousands of newly arrived North Korean personnel in the region. Zelensky also pushed for Ukraine's allies, citing the US, UK and Germany, to supply the country with greater long-range missile systems and permission to use them to strike into Russian territory. Що життєво необхідно. Чим далі можуть бити наявні у нас ракети, наші дрони, тим менше реальної бойової сили буде у Росії. 
A doctor accused of criticizing Russia's fighting in Ukraine in front of a patient was convicted Tuesday of spreading false information about the Russian military and sentenced to five and a half years in prison, part of an unrelenting Kremlin crackdown on dissent. Dr. Nadezhda Bayanova, 68, was arrested in February after Anastasia Akinshina, the mother of one of her patients, reported the pediatrician to authorities. Akinshina alleged that Bayanova told her and her son that his father, a Russian soldier who was killed in Ukraine, was a legitimate target for Kiev's troops and had blamed Moscow for the conflict. A video of the outraged Akinshina complaining about Bayanova was widely publicized, and Chief of Russia's Investigative Committee Alexander Bastrykin personally demanded a criminal case be brought against the doctor. Bayanova, who was born in western Ukraine, denied the accusation, insisting she never said what she was accused of saying. In a tearful closing statement last week, she had urged the court to acquit her. Her defense argued that the prosecution failed to present evidence that the purported conversation took place, including any recordings of it, and alleged that her accuser fabricated the story out of animosity toward Ukrainians, according to the independent news site Mediazona, which reported all of the hearings in the trial. In her closing statement to the court, Bayanova said it was painful to read the accusations in the indictment and broke down. A doctor, especially a pediatrician, is not capable of wishing harm to a child, his mother, or traumatizing the child's psyche. Only a monster is capable of this and of the words that I allegedly said to them, Mediazona quoted her as saying. Spreading false information about the army has been a criminal offense since March 2022, when Russia adopted a series of laws prohibiting any public expression about the fighting that deviated from the official narrative. Мне хотелось бы, чтобы у людей у всех было бы счастье, чтобы у них были счастливые семьи. Но, к сожалению, как говорят, рая на земле нет, мир не идеален, вот. Как-то так получается, но как бы хотелось, как бы этого хотелось, потому что столько проблем в жизни у людей, столько болезней разных, с которыми нужно бороться, нужно искать какие-то новые методы лечения. Меня удивляет не тот результат, который был сегодня получен, а меня удивляет результат, почему все складывается именно так, как складывается. За слова, даже если мы примем, скажем так, на веру тот факт, что обвинение надежды правдивое, все, что там написано, это правда, если мы примем даже этот факт, все равно пять с половиной лет за несколько, за несколько фраз, словосочетаний, Женщине пожилой, заслуженному человеку в России, да, с такой профессией, я думаю, что это, ну, не хаги ворота, как говорится.